Hey, what's up everybody? This is John with GoWesty, and today I'm going to do an installation of the GVW Airhorn kit. As always for safety, please disconnect your battery before beginning any electrical work in your vehicle. We'll start with removing the grill and both headlight bucket assemblies from the vehicle. Next, remove the glove box and pull the carpet back to access the front firewall. Move back outside the front of the vehicle and drill a 5 16 hole through the front cowl. This hole should be just below the roll in the sheet metal and a few inches over to the square end in, in the wall. Use the square headed bolt to hang the horn in place and loosely attach the wavy washer and nut to the backside. I like to place the horn ground in the corner of this channel. Be sure to expose a bit of metal for a good ground connection. You can wrap the ground wire tightly around a screwdriver to coil it, keeping it tidy and out of the way. Connect this to the ground terminal of the horn. With the horn grounded, move over to the driver's side and locate the largest foremost wiring loom to the right. We'll run the power wire into the van through this loom boot. Use a piece of sturdy wire or a coat hanger, hook the end and gently feed it into the boot end several inches. Move back inside, remove the fuse panel cover, and lower the fuse panel. Retrieve the hooked end of the coat hanger and attach the end of the red wire from the relay to it, using a bit of tape to secure the connection. Pull the wire through the boot and detach it from the coat hanger. Run this wire across the front of the van using the present factory wiring harness clips and connect it to the positive terminal of the horn. The horn can now be tightened into place. Be sure the horn body stays perpendicular to the ground when bolted in. Once the horn is torqued down, reinstall the glove box and put the carpet back in place. Access the back side of the fuse panel and locate the brown wire with the blue tracer at yellow block C position 15. In an early van, this wire exits the thin plug at the bottom of the steering wheel, behind the column shroud. Clip a provided tap connector onto this wire, as well as the black wire with the yellow tracer from the same block, position C13. In an early van, this black wire with yellow tracer comes from the top of fuse S12. Connect the black wire from the relay to the brown wire with blue tracer and the white wire from the relay to the black wire with the yellow tracer. Connect the red fused wire of the relay to a direct power source. In a late van, any open pin in the back of the P block will work. If all pins are used, use the tab on the connector to piggyback a connection. If you have an available pin, clip off the tab for safety to ensure no shorts occur. Use the provided Velcro to mount the relay to the dash sidewall and reinstall the fuse panel, headlights, and grill. And that's it, we're done.